uh, over 100 people coming from Morgantown, West Virginia. There's going to be three buses. There's um, a lot of people coming from Youngstown, from Johnstown, from Oil City. There's over 65 organizations who have endorsed, and uh, we're getting really good pre-event publicity. So we're, we're expecting several thousand people, and we're really excited about it. From people from Kent State, Ohio, people from Ithaca, New York City, all over the place. How does it feel to be part of a real peace movement in Pittsburgh? Good. Good. He said good. of Carnegie Mellon University and the Software Engineering Institute. There will be more protests, not like this one, but again, we must continue to protest against the software engineering of Carnegie Mellon for war. If there is going to be a war, let there be a war against poverty. If there is going to be a war, let it be against the disease of AIDS. And if we are to wage war as people, let us wage war against war. Thank you.
here. We know there are people from West Virginia. The last thing that Rocky War people need is a war. And so we really need to stand up against all of this. I'm glad for the company out here at the Software Engineering Institute. In season, out of season. This is Vince and Irene. Four people laying in the street, doing civil disobedience, waiting for the police to haul them away. It's Laura Maloney, Jonas Moffat, Brandon Bold, Tom Miramani. Thanks. Would you like to say anything to Peace TV? I don't know. It's just I think this is the least we can do. Um, so we don't have a war, you know? It starts from the streets, I guess, literally. <laughs> Thank you. You guys want to say anything? To whom? Peace TV. Public access rocks. Moffat and Maloney for peace. Moffat and Maloney for peace. Under a blanket. In the gold. In Fifth Avenue, baby. <laughs> this is for freedom. This is for peace. This is for all those little starving children in Iraq. Dying children. Dying children too. And dying adults and dying everyone in our room. What's a few hours in the cold when all these children are dying for no reason? We can suffer a little bit too here in America. You guys want to see your name? It's Laura Maloney. Jonas Moffat. Brandon Bold. Tom Miramani. Thanks. I don't think they're going to arrest anybody. They're waiting for people to freeze out the police. You got some pretty good tech. This jacket? <laughs> no, do you think that that's a good tactic for the police? Um, I think it's the most peaceful tactic that they can do. That way there's no violence involved. Yes. I don't know if it's the safest, but... Um, anything else? I think people need to be aware of depleted uranium. That's all. Depleted uranium bullets. Well, tell me about depleted uranium bullets. I think I'm a little too cold right now. Um, just, just two ten words. Yeah. All right. Depleted uranium is used in bullet casings and actual bullet shells. It's the waste from plutonium reactors, and they're shot from tanks and missile rounds, and they're shot into the ecosystem, into people, into soils. It takes 4.5 billion years. That's the half-life of this metal. Um, it will take 45 billion years for it to decompose on the earth in general. And it's a contaminant that can't be cleaned up. It's just, it wreaks environmental havoc on the ecosystem. And, and is, it, is it a war crime to use depleted uranium against innocent children? It was actually passed by the UN on September 10th as a weapon of mass destruction. I don't know if it was passed, but it was talked about. And after September 11th, it was just completely forgotten about, so. WTA TV or whatever media source should put us on TV because we're not going to quit this. We're not going to stop laying down on the streets or uh, pro protesting nonviolently because that's the least we can do. So, you know, unless the, you know, the mass media 
the corporations, you know, can understand that we're going to keep on doing it. And Bush, which is run by the corporations, but, you know. Hey. Huh? <laughs> we're going to stand up by laying down and protest nonviolently the way Gandhi did. You must be the wish. <laughs> you must be the change you wish to see in the world, right? I just thought it was an outstanding demonstration. It's um, it was amazing to see like the diversity of like organizations coming together, and it's, like I was at the demonstration in D.C. and that was like organized by one organization, and it's just neat to see these things springing up in communities all probably all across the country. There can be protests like this. I don't know. I don't know about small ones. I mean, there's a huge one I guess in February 15th in New York. That's the next big one, but um, I'm in Philadelphia. I don't know. I think we're having something on February 15th as well. So you came from Philly? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, for the were weekend. you disappointed? Disapp hope you weren't, I hope you weren't disappointed. Well, I mean, the one thing I was, I was trying to do a bit of tabling, and like that didn't work so well because it was snowing. Like we were going to table with information, but it would all got messed up. So that was a bit of a downer. But otherwise, the demonstrations went really well. It's only made if they get arrested. No, so, not you're not. Why? Why are you down there? It's because I feel that it is my duty to lay on this cold street while we bomb Iraq and Iraqi citizens and set up sanctions and kill their babies and kill their mothers and daughters and uncles and brothers. So yeah, okay, this isn't going to do anything in that sense that it's going to save them. But I mean, I'm living in the U.S. I'm living under. The, the U.S. laws, and we're bombing them, so I'm going to lay on this street. I doesn't That doesn't matter to me right now. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, the, the first thing that's going to get me up is the fact that I have to go to the bathroom. So other than that, a little suffering on our part is not going to kill us because... I'm not being conflicting. I just want to take a nap. Hey, guys, you want to check your names? I think that what, what the the image and the, what this what you saw in the streets today of Pittsburgh is the peace movement, and I think it was as diverse as the American public, and that speaks for itself. wants to win the lottery. He finally <laughs> says, God, what do I need to do? You know what the guy, then God answers and said, you know, buy a lottery ticket. Well, I guess I just bought the lottery ticket. So. <laughs> What's your name, officer? Hey, I'm Commander Valenta. Thanks for helping us stop the war. Okay, you take care of yourselves. Okay? Can I get a picture of the, can I get a picture of the two of you? Okay. <laughs> hey, team. <laughs> Well, like I was saying, they were waiting for the cold to, to they thought the cold was going to get to us and make us leave, but it looks like they got a little restless, called in the little team over there for some backup, and the cold didn't get to us, the cold got to them first, so now they're going to go in their cop cars and get warm, and we're going to go get warm somewhere else. They're going to go watch the Super Bowl. That's what they're going to do, and that's what their big plan was, and we won, so that's great. Stop the war. I love you. <laughs> No, this is our peaceful protest. We're going against Bush just to stop the war and it's just for the better good of the world. War only leads to more war and we need to stop it peacefully. Not with any more violence. Peacefully.